friends and welcome back to another vlog here at Lemon Tree Corner. If you don't know me, my name is Heather and I run a small handmade business called Lemon Tree Corner where I make purses, bags, and project bags and lots of fun stuff. And we do lots of crafty stuff on this channel. I also crochet and do some other stuff. So a little bit of everything. This week's going to be a little bit different. We are not doing a new bag this week. This week is a second week of catch up. So last week we made all of these bags and I've got a bunch more to make. So these, this is the noodle head pencil pouch. So we'll be finishing those up. And then it's an extra long weekend for me as I'm taking Tuesday off to add on to Memorial Day. So I've got a four day weekend. So we're gonna do like a week in the life kind of thing. So we're gonna go through some shop stuff. I'm gonna show you uh, how I set up and take pictures for the shop. So a little bit of everything this week, and I hope you come along for the journey. And thank you to the new subscribers out there. Yay, it's so great to see that number keeps going up and up. And uh, thank you to Spoon Patterns who reposted my Instagram post on our Bonnie Bucket from a couple of weeks ago. So we have some newcomers from that neck of the woods. Hi, hello, my name is Heather. And great to have you here in our community and hope that you stick around. So grab a water or a cozy beverage, curl up, and let's get some stuff done. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down charcuterie board and some dim sum that we could do. So here we have our cheese and pita board that's um, 
mostly made. I think I just have to cut stuff up. It should take 10 minutes. And then we got some hoisin glazed pork chops with salad. Oh, I forgot I had a salad this week. That's good. And then we have Thanksgiving anytime chicken sandos. And we have silky Sicilian penne with mushrooms, zucchini, and tomatoes. So, looking forward to having all of that. And lately I've had to check everything because things have been missing. I was really hoping the cheese and pita board was going to be pre-made for me, but I guess not. I always forget to check those. I always think they're going to be pre-made. Shake, 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 shake that doggy, shake that doggy. Ow, shake, 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 shake that doggy. Another thing I like to do is I like to display my scrapbooks. So right now we have our wedding scrapbook because we just celebrated our anniversary last month. So let me take this one down and show you what I have it on. So I have a recipe book stand that I use for this. Only problem with this one, it is nice and deep, but my pages, I just cram my pages into my albums. So this is still a little too tight for the albums. There's another one that's wood that just has this without the front bar. I'm thinking of getting one of those, but we have our album. It's all shiny, you can't really see it, but here we are on our wedding day. It was a Hawaiian themed, Hawaiian themed wedding. So that's our wedding book. So we're gonna put this one away and put a new scrapbook up. And the new scrapbook is going to be one of our trips, oh, Oahu, our trip to Oahu. So this is one of the trips we went through. Um, yeah, I don't know if I wanna journal, it's such a pretty page. <laughs> but so here's, we went in, February, so it's kind of a weird time to go. So the surf was way too rough. I was trying to hedge my bets between seeing the surfers at Pipeline um, with a good surf going on and having it be good weather for us to swim in. But of course, it really wasn't swimmable at this time of year. But a fun vacation, nevertheless. So I'm gonna put this album up. Usually what I do is I start on the first real day. So this one's kind of boring though. Let's go for this one. And then I flip a page every morning when I'm getting ready for work. So it's just a fun way to see my scrapbooks in action and get to experience them so they're not just sitting in, you know, on a bookshelf, never being seen. So with that, the hookie lao. 
and it was very windy. You can't see that with the lights. Let's tilt it there. Very windy. So that's what we were dealing with most of the week. Um, yeah, this one's kind of spread out. Maybe we'll start on this day because it's got lots of pictures on it. It's probably better that we started with that day anyway because it's pretty tight. Um, so that's the problem when I cram my albums full. I can't really start on the first page there. But yeah, so really nice. I get to enjoy, remember, look back on the whatever, you know, whatever's going on in the scrapbook. And then we turn the page every day and we get to really experience the scrapbooks um, instead of them just sitting there collecting dust. So we've changed the scrapbook, we washed the dogs, we made the coffee, we went rug shopping. <laughs> Did not find anything I liked. So I'm gonna go back to Amazon and look for a rug. Uh, basically, we change the rug like every two years. I try and get something that, the, you know, it's not going to show all the dirt and dog stuff and, you know, whatever happens, whatever little accidents happen throughout the years. Um, this one's just looking really dingy and dark now. And it doesn't quite fit the room. I mean, you know, the room has like these light blue walls and this is very dark blue. So looking for something similar with a design but maybe not. And it comes out kind of far because every time I'm sitting at my, every time I'm sitting at my um, table here, basically I move the chair from the desk to the table and back and forth all the time. And when I back my chair up, I wind up hitting the rug, which is why this is taped down. But it just kind of extends into this whole walkway, which it doesn't really need to be. So if it was, you know, like what, shorter than that, it would fit better. And rugs have gotten expensive. I was really surprised at how expensive they were when we went shopping today. So now I am tired and rugless and back to square one looking at Amazon. <laughs> so it's been a day already and I haven't even done any projects yet. Okay, so now it is Sunday. Spent Saturday doing all the chores, all the errands, to try and get myself in a manageable frame of mind. <laughs> so Sunday morning, and we have the rest of our pouches to make. Got to get these done so that we can photograph everything for the shop. So. Okay, last week Kelly asked what this thing is. <laughs> If I can get it to focus, there we go. So this is a really cool tool. I'll link it below. I think I got them on Amazon. Uh, basically, it helps thread the needle of your sewing machine. So some sewing machines, some sewing machines have this self-threader that you can use. Um, mine on the Juki broke pretty early on, <laughs> like. The first month or two I had it, I really didn't want to return the entire machine for something, you know, that trivial because the rest of the machine works great and yeah, but the automatic threader, you know, is sweet <laughs> and it saves you a lot of time. I just can't really see well enough to get this through the hole most of the time and the LED lights that I have over here. Uh, while they illuminate everything wonderfully, they make it really hard to see kind of where you're at on that small of a scale. So somebody on Facebook land um, turned me on to these little guys. So what you do is you stick the thread through there, you go here, you go down the needle, um, and then once you get to the hole, you push this through the hole and it comes out the other side and it's got a little tool you can you can grab it with I just usually grab it with my fingers but then it's threaded so let's zoom in let's do that again I might have to turn off the LED lights for you to see this correctly okay but it's actually 
focus on something here. So we've got our tool and we put it through with the little um, loop thing on the top. Slide it along our thread till we get to the needle. Slide it down the needle holding the thread taut and then just push it through and pull it through. It's a lot better for me. Um, I'm sure anybody else with vision issues, it's just such a fiddly thing to do all the time. So it's really nice to have that tool at our disposal. Just makes it even easier. Obviously the automatic threader would be nicer <laughs> if it worked. Um, but yeah, that's a really good substitute. It works on all machines as well. So I will link that below. I bought it on Amazon. And yeah, it's a really good tool to have if you don't already have one. And just like that, it's already time for Sunday lunch. So we're going to make the penne pasta. This is a vegetarian recipe. So it doesn't take that long, just a lot of chopping. So getting everything out and boil the water for the pasta, that kind of thing. So the only thing I don't really like about the HelloFresh is the amount of plastic <laughs> you can see. Everything's in plastic, it's divvied up. I mean, I don't know why each zucchini had to be in a separate plastic bag. For the four zucchinis, it just <laughs> seems like a waste. But I know they pre-portion things out for like two meals at a time. So generally I get twice as much plastic because I'm cooking four servings instead of two servings. But yeah, this is fun and easy and pretty, pretty fast to make. And then I've got four servings of pasta to enjoy at a later date. So one for lunch for me because I'm home by myself. And then um, three leftovers for work and that kind of thing. YouTube, I command you to be done.
So it's finally time to start on the bag photos. Yay. So what I like to do is fill them full of something to really round out the bag so there's no wrinkles and it looks full. And then uh, I put a little something behind it that won't show in the photo, but I can prop it up on. And then I like to stage the photos with things you would actually use it for. So I have makeup in one case and then uh, color pencils if you were to use it as a real pencil pouch. So got those in there. I'm really enjoying these new backgrounds. Um, I used to have a photo booth and it was really tight and I couldn't get the big bags in there. <laughs> this is nice because I can use the bright lights that I use for the intro and outro. And then it just came with these different colors and textures. So I can really mix it up depending on what bags I'm taking photos of. And then I can fill them with everything I need and I can hold the handles up. So it's just really convenient to set this up right where I normally have my cutting station. Uh, so it doesn't take a lot of moving around. So just getting all these photos with the different backgrounds and um, yeah, just a few photos of each bag that I can put on the website. And I still have to process all those, so it'll be a while. Uh, maybe next week I can start processing those. But yeah, a lot of fun. I like changing out the colors. There's a few colors I would like to use on a regular basis, like this pink and the blue are really good. <laughs> As the alpha pouches, anyone? This is just a sample of the pouches that we've made this week. Ah, they're gonna fall. <laughs> so thanks for coming along for a week in the life with me. We got a lot done, but as always, I my ambitions far outweighed what was possible for me to do in four days. And, you know, like we've talked about before, have a full-time job. So this isn't really a week in the life. This is, this is a week in the life of what I wish wish my life looked like with this being my full-time job. So we've taken a four-day weekend and filled it full of projects for my side hustle, which, which is this, uh, which is making these bags. So we filled it full of that stuff and you can kind of see what I would like my life to be. I kind of take these days and these weekends as if this were my full-time job, this is what it would look like. I would wake up at eight in the morning, I would putt-putt, have some coffee, watch some YouTube, jump in the shower. Like by 10 o'clock, I would be doing things. And from probably 10 to four or five, I would be working on all of these projects. So it's kind of fun to envision that and set that intention in the world um, but obviously this is on top of a full-time job. So I generally have to give myself some downtime to recover from the work week. So my weekends don't always look as crowded as this. And obviously we didn't get through everything we wanted to get through, but we did get all the bags made and photographed. And now, um, you know, the big push is setting up for the photographs and everything. And then throughout the week I can work on getting the pages on the website, editing the photographs, and doing all the rest of the stuff that has to be done in order to do a shop update. But thank you very much for coming along with me this week. I loved having you, and I love it when you spend time with me. And as always, if, you would feel, if you've gotten to this point in the video, or have watched more than one of my videos, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and become part of our community. I would also love it if you popped a comment down below. Let me know where you're from, who you are, what you like to work on. If you have any crafty hobbies, I would love to hear about them and get to know you more. So I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you back here next week for another video. Love you friends, bye.